Hi Bruce from Safari. Yesterday we talked about the new synchronous uh, hybrid alternator that we have here, permanent magnet uh, with the inverter on the back here uh, being driven by Scotty. This has got a power of 10 kilowatts peak to 40 amps at uh, 48 volts. And uh, one of the questions we had uh, coming in last night on YouTube was can this work as a mild hybrid? And the answer is yes, it is in fact a mild hybrid unit. This is not a unit that we have developed uh, specifically for our application. This is actually out of a, a mild hybrid vehicle, a German vehicle that we've taken and that we're going to apply. The tricky part is that the control function in the back of this is designed for that particular vehicle and the vehicle manufacturer won't reveal um, what that software code is of course <laughs> so what we've had to do is change the firmware in the back of the unit and change here or update what we're doing in here in our software stack so that we can drive the unit so this is a stock standard automotive a unit designed for a vehicle to be run by the vehicle's ECU now it is natively set to run as a mild hybrid it will in fact do 10 kilowatts for 20 seconds at high temperature uh, and that's enough for some hill climbing. Uh, it gives you a real acceleration boost. It can also do the start-stop function. It can put in uh, quite a bit of uh, torque. Uh, the manufacturer says that this product will give a fuel economy benefits on what they call the WLTP cycle, which I think is the test cycle, of about 6%. Now, to do that, it's got to read the engine can and when it's braking, we want maximum power coming out of this. And then when you're doing the hill climbing, we want it to go into reverse to assist the engine. So we haven't done that software stack in here yet. Um, last night I read the requirements in here, the software requirements. I've, I've read the file in here on what we've changed it in the back. And uh, I believe we can do it. Uh, we've just got to get it done. So I'm talking about what we can do, but we haven't actually done it yet. We can take the power out of here uh, easily, that is done. But doing the software stack to run it as a mild hybrid is work we've got to do in here. And then Scotty here effectively becomes a German ECU <laughs> in a vehicle uh, and will be driving it to the same standards that they've written for this product, which is ASLB. That's an automotive grade. So that has a requirement that if uh, power fails on this unit, this has to operate in a safe mode with the vehicle. Uh, there's a whole set of strict requirements there that we have to meet as well. So I expect that that's a project that we will embark on once we get a customer, what I call an innovation stakeholder, who wants to uh, test that with us, then uh, we will be able to put that in and give that a go. How good's that?